Yo, what is up guys? Oscar here with a new video talking about the Real Madrid Eibar preview match. Um, this match will take place tomorrow, Sunday, at 3 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. CET. Um, and there are some injuries, but most, most of it, Real Madrid is finally healthy. So stay tuned for what my lineups are going to be because Zinedine Zidane has picked up 22 players for this game so the lineups now are going to be a little bit unpredictable um now that Real Madrid is getting healthier and healthier but here are certain players that are out there's only only three Vinicius Jr. is out with an illness Isco suffered a minor injury in training and of course Eden Hazard isn't a hundred percent so um no surprises there Eden Hazard good news with him Good news with Mariano Diaz. Good news with Martin Odegaard through the week that they were actually training this week. But like I said, maybe because Eden Hazard is a Zidane guy, um, it looks like he wants him to rest up. Like I said, I don't see Eden Hazard maybe playing again in 2020. I think he's going to return in January of next year, so 2021. So um, I just don't see it. I let me know if you guys agree or disagree um, on Eden Hazard, but I just don't see him starting at all um, for the rest of the year. So I see him resting up, making sure that he's 100. percent Hopefully he he's fit by that time, but we'll have to see. So Real Madrid squad is goalkeepers: Thibaut Courtois, Andre Lunin, Diego Altub. No surprises there. Um, the backside is going to be. Or defenders are going to be Dani Carvajal, Eder Militao, Sergio Ramos, Rafael Varan, Nacho Fernandez, Marcelo Álvaro Driozola, Fernand Mendy. Midfielders, Tony Cross, Luca Modric, Casemiro, Fede Valverde, Martin Odegaard. Um, Kar Karim, uh, forwards, Karim Benzema, Marco Asensio, Lucas Vazquez, Luca Jovic, and Mariano Diaz, and Rodrigo. So... Here's the way that I would start up the lineup. Um, the goalie or goalkeeper is going to be Thibaut Courtois, of course. Um, the backside is not going to change. I say Dani Carvajal, Sergio Ramos, Rafael Varane, and Ferlin Mendy. Like that, like I said, that that's not going to change unless there's like a last minute injury or Zidane wants to change up his lineup with this. Now, with this squad being healthy, I wouldn't be surprised, but I don't see him changing that backside because that backside, fun fact, when he has a certain starting lineup, and I'll get into that um, sooner or here in a few moments, um, he's undefeated. But back to the midfield, the way that I would do this midfield would be Casemiro, Tony Cross, and Fede Valverde. Now, hear me out. Um, I wouldn't start... Luka Modric for one simple reason. He deserves his rest. Maybe have Luka Modric and Martin Odegaard, who's coming off of injury, had a minor procedure um, this past month and a half. Maybe give Martin Odegaard the minutes that Fede Valverde was given last week in the Madrid Derby. And if you guys don't know, Fede Valverde played the last five or ten minutes of that game, and then he started against Atletic Bilbao. So I say put in Martin Odegaard in that time frame if Zidan can, if Zidan can. But don't have Luka Modric start because he started every single game, has played 90 minutes the last seven games in a row, and he is on the like I said, he's the oldest player on Madrid, so he deserves some rest. Maybe rest him up. Put in Fede Valverde because you got Casemiro back from suspension. So, like I said, put Casemiro, Tony Cross, and Fede Valverde. Once Martin Odegaard is back to 100% or back into you know good shape, you can also rest Tony Cross. But until then, don't start Martin, Martin Odegaard. Or if you start Martin Odegaard, play him 60 minutes. Don't play him the full 90. Play him maybe 50, 60 minutes. And then bench him. Don't have him start the entire game. But, you know, that's if, you know, post comes to serve if you want to rest Tony Cross. But 
the best case scenario is to have um, Martin Odegaard start after five or ten minutes. But we'll have to see. Like I said, Zidane now with his um, healthy squad, now that he has 22 players back instead of the regular 19 to 21 players that he's been having, um, he can make a lot of changes to the lineup. So forwards are going to be Karim Benzema, in my opinion, uh, Luke, Lucas Vasquez, and Rodrigo. And I say that one for one reason and one reason only. Um, Zidane doesn't like to start Marco Asensio without Eden Hazard there. So I don't see Marco Asensio starting um, at all until Eden Hazard gets the start again. So we'll have to wait and see when Zidane likes to start Marco Asensio. But Marco Asensio has been a substitute guy in the recent games since Eden Hazard was out. So, like I said, my starting forwards would be Karim Benzema. Of course, he's your top guy at scoring. Lucas Vazquez, who has really good chemistry, has played solid the last two months. And Rodrigo with um, Vinicius out. Um, is it just me, guys, or do you guys think that being having Vinicius Jr. out is actually good for Real Madrid? Because he's not played... He has been horrible this year. Yes, he scored goals in, in the big big games, but he has struggled. He has not shown to be a starter. I think Rodrigo has deserved to be a starter since day one. So, um, I say Rodrigo starts. And then, as substitutes, either put in Marco Asensio and Lucas Luka Jovic. So, that would be my starting 11, guys. Um... This for Real Madrid should be a good win. Sorry, should be a win. But like I said, Real Madrid has the tendency where I have to wait and see if they still have the same urgency. Um, Zidane's speech the last two months has been we're in a final, we're in a final, we're in a final, we're in a final. And whenever Real Madrid, whenever he says that, Real Madrid ends up cracking under the pressure. So we're going to have to wait and see what Zidane does here. Hopefully the squad can respond like they've responded the last month and a half. Real Madrid has not lost since their uh, matchup against uh, Alaves. And that was about a month and a half ago, I think. So hopefully Real Madrid can still keep it up. I say Real Madrid wins by two goals, either 2-0 to zero or 3-1, to one, just like they did against Athletic Bilbao, so we're going to have to wait and see. Let me know if you guys agree. Let me know if you guys agree with my starting lineup. With Real Madrid healthy, I wouldn't be surprised if Zidane changed it up on me. He's only changed it up once, but I've been able to predict Real Madrid's lineup easily. But now, like I said, with his healthier squad now, you know, coming into focus, he can make a lot of changes so, let me know if you guys think who will be starting tomorrow. I will be tweeting if I'm right or wrong. So, look out for that tweet. Follow me on at Oscar Josue. Dang it. Uh, Oscar, at Oscar J Montel 37. And so that way you guys can be updated on who will be starting. So, like I said, Real Madrid wins either 2 to 0 or 3 to 1 against Abar, a team they should win. Hopefully, they should beat, but like I said, let's see if Real Madrid has another letdown game. They haven't had that happen since the Deportivo Alaves match. So, all right, guys, that is it for me. Until, Real Madrid, you know, until, unless Real Madrid and or, and or Washington have breaking news, I will post it here on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter to get my information, and then I will see you guys next time. Um, before I forget though, uh, sorry, um, so Real Madrid, like I said, has a 3 p.m. Eastern matchup, um, so that is around the time where I'm still watching American football, so my recap review or, you know, analysis of the, my post-game reaction is either going to happen late Sunday night or or early Monday morning, depending if I need to catch up on anything regarding the game. Um, but 
I will definitely still post my post game reaction. That is something that I do want to let you guys know that the post game reaction probably will come later than usual because it is a Sunday match. Notice that we're not playing um, Saturday, but we're playing Sun Real Madrid is playing Sunday. So look out for that video. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, share this video, turn on post notifications and comment, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.